Hi! Welcome to our second Table Basic lesson. In this lesson, we're going to look at running Tide and starting your first project. First of all, I'm going to assume you downloaded and installed Tide. So if you haven't done so before this lesson, please go ahead and do that right now. You can find Tide at basic.tibo.com slash product slash Tide. And there's a download link right there. You see that link? Click it. And then I'm just going to download the latest Tide version, which is going to be here. So grab that file, set it up, and then come back to the lesson. I'll give you a moment to do that. You can pause the video right here. One other thing you're going to need before running Tide for the first time is hardware. As we said, a hardware device is a must. And you're going to have to have a Tebow Basic device connected to your local network segment. This means you have to hook it up either directly to your computer via a LAN cable or to the same hub that your computer is connected to. So let's pause the video right here so you can connect your Tebow Basic device to your local network segment if you haven't done so yet. Okay, I'm assuming you've connected the device or it was connected already. So let's continue and run Tide. Let's go to Start, All Programs, Scroll down, Tebow, Tebow IDE, and Tebow IDE right here. There we go, it's running. Let's look at starting your first project. We're just going to start it, we're not actually going to code anything just yet. So, go to File, New Project. Let's look at this dialog here. First of all, I'm going to pick the platform. So what I personally have is an EM1000 based device. So I'm going to open this drop down here, scroll down, EM1000 module. This is what I need. Uh, what you're going to need depends on the platform that uh, you're going to code for. So choose whatever it is you have to choose here. So as we said, EM1000. Great. Now, this here is a list of templates. Um, I have several templates. DHCP is, um, well, I'm going to assume you know what DHCP is. In case you don't, it's just a way for a device to get its IP address from the network automatically. We're not going to need that for our first project, so we're going to go for empty project. Project name, let's call it Hello World. Great. Location is my document. Transport is how um, Tide communicates with your device because all action is done on your device and Tide is actually in constant communication with uh, the Tivo programmable device. So we can either go for Tyco UDP or if you have the device hooked up via RS-232, we can go for the serial transport. We're just going to leave it at default for right now and this is probably going to be the setting you will be using from now on. Uh, the serial transport is used for very specific cases. If you need it, you're going to know it. For now, just we're going to go for UDP. Next step is to choose the target. We need to tell Tide where is the device or what is the device's address so that it can talk to it and upload our program, etc. So we're going to click Select here. As you can see, it sends out a broadcast all throughout my local network segment. So the device has to be connected to the local network segment and I'm gonna click the device and select. This address you see here is not actually an IP address, it's actually what's called a MAC address which is an acronym for Media Access Control address. This is, you could say, a more basic level address than the IP address. So the IP of your device is not configured yet or it can change, etc but your MAC address is going to stay fairly constant and we can use that to communicate with the device. Great! So just at a quick glance here, we have the platform, we have the project type, project name, path, transport, and the target address. Everything is set correctly. We can click OK to create the new project. This is the new project. I currently have two files in the project tree. I have a header file and I have my main basic file. We're going to start off with a really, really simple project in the next lesson. So for now, we can lose the header file. Going to right-click it and remove file. It's going to be deleted from the tree, but will remain in the folder. OK. Great. So now I'm left with just a single file, which is main.tbs. 
And as you can see, the first line it has is include global TBH, but I no longer have the TBH file in my project. That's the header file I just removed. So I'm just going to remove this line as well. This is it. I'm now ready to type in my code. And in the next lesson, we're going to make this little project output hello world to our web browser. For now, this is it. Thank you.